going to go more in depth on what the arms do in a proper golf swing. And I want to cover this again. We like to give people the demonstration of what the basic concepts are, and even some, in this case, some of the more technical, advanced concepts before we start doing any of the drills. Because, in fact, if you are an endo endomorph body type built like an NFL lineman, your, your upper arms are probably going to rotate at the very end of the backswing a little bit this way, a little bit counterclockwise, just the way it works. And the reason why is you don't have the flexibility. And, and if you're that kind of person, if you're that guy or gal, your right elbow is going to float away from your left elbow. Of, of not just mine, but 80% of, of uh, average golfers, people who are like, you know, like say 10, 12 handicaps or higher, will do this to some degree. And it causes you to hit thin or even top shots, right? So you're not hitting the sweet spot when you pull your elbow and you're hitting it too low on the face, right? It's also a good drill if you pop up, out, if you have an issue with popping up out of your spine angle, not staying down. This is another drill that works really well for spine angle issues as well. And, you know, when you do this in, in, a, in an actual golf swing, it's only happening for a fr tiny fraction of a second, about a 15th, 20th of a second, uh, which is why it's so hard to stop doing it if, if you've made it a dominant habit. But when you do it like this and you have your partner keep his hand there for maybe, you know, 10 seconds, You've got 10 seconds of continuous activation of those, of those bad muscles firing. That's how you weaken the impulse, right? Six, impact is seven. Right after impact, when the right arm fully straightens and the wrist fully uncocked into an arch position, is eight. So six, seven, eight. During that segment, and even, even from eight to nine, something happens with your upper arms, which I think is... For me, it was one of my, it was the second biggest light bulb moment for me as a teacher. And you'll probably see if you're slicing the ball now, you should see at least one more club distance with the irons by adding this. I've seen people get as much as two, two clubs more distance. Um, and you, it'll, it'll basically make it almost impossible for you to slice. So, it's a, so in that ebook, element five is called consistent pressure. And it simply means Whatever pressures you have, like for example, the overall amount of pressure should be between a three and a four on a long game shot. If you're a guy on a, on a one to 15 scale, if you're a, a woman about a one to 10 scale, you wanna maintain that level of overall pressure, no changes. Equal grip pressure, same amount of pressure left and right hands, equal. You wanna maintain that. One of the ones we haven't done yet, it's coming up in the next few minutes, is called ring the flannel. You wanna maintain that, right? So the point is to maintain the pressure you set at, at setup, at address, throughout the swing. Now, because there's a, there's a few different pressure points on your hands where you're going to preset some tension in your triangle. Stretch pressure and extension pressure means stretching your arms away from body center. So extension means a very slight movement of the upper arm bone in the shoulder socket that way, away from you, like so. Very slight. And stretch pressure is using your tricep to Take a slight bend in your elbow and take it away. So we